Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capace channel in Malaysia. As I covered in my previous video, the Motu Origins Wave 11 figures have finally arrived in Malaysia via our friendly neighborhood hobby stores. And today on the channel, I'm reviewing the Snake Armor He-Man, the most powerful snake hunter in the universe. Now, as I've covered in my previous video as well, my first impressions of this figure, based on the early images that came out, was that the translation was a far cry for the more detailed and Adonis-shaped body of the original figure that came out in 2004. Then again, distribution of that first figure was so limited, only selected markets in Europe and Asia saw it on shelves, and many people have never actually held it in their hands for an actual comparison. Not even me, okay? I've got this damn thing sealed up in cart for so freaking long. I don't want to open it because it's so freaking rare, okay? <laughs> now, I am excited for the translation of the 2002 designs styled onto the Moto Origins bodies, okay? Them incorporating 2002 into Moto Origins. However, these designs may not always work. In the case of the Snake Armor He-Man, I felt that this rendition kind of makes him look a bit goofy, okay? Even the art on the card back promises a somewhat different looking figure. However, the all-new armor does have a lot of possibilities for customization. Now, checking out the figure up close, the chest emblem looks fantastic. The colors and the detailing within look great. Although, they are taking some design liberties here, as with the original, the chest emblem wasn't exactly situated in the center. Okay, It wasn't dead center, it was more towards the right side of his chest. Now, I like that they didn't go with a flat silver or gray color tone. No, the paint wash is this slightly more premium upgraded wash Okay, that has something of a shiny finish to it. It looks great. Now, there's also a lot of detail here all along the shoulder armor, but all of this stuff could have benefited from more paint apps, just like with the original figure, especially with the snake logo here. Why leave this damn thing unpainted? Okay, this thing really needed some color on it. Now, I do appreciate the new tooling that went into this figure. At the same time, it still feels kind of halfway in. They threw another dab of shiny yellow here on the arm gauntlet. Okay, so there's a little bit more color here, but why not more? All right, I mean, there's, you know, always a budgetary constraint, I understand. But you guys already cut out all the action features. Now, I'm not a fan of how the tribal jungle skirt looks on him, okay? You know, with the lack of different paint apps on the body armor, this green skirt thing here kind of looks a little bit out of place. But then again, with all the shiny bling covering his whole frame, okay, there must be some element of the armor which blends into the rest of the wilderness, okay? So I guess they gotta have a little bit of green here. Okay, because the shiny silver is not going to blend into anything, okay? It's going to make him stand out in front of all those snakes. Now, I tried reversing the skirt around to see if it looks better. Uh, well, maybe, <laughs> okay? I don't know what you guys think. Now, there's also all new tooling for the armor that covers the whole of his right leg and also on his left shin. If the snake armor is the main selling point of this figure, well, there sure is a lot of it to go around. The armor also covers a generous portion of He-Man's back as well. And just like with the Wave 9 2002 figure, there's a slot here for the power sword to be inserted inside. However, the figure doesn't come with the 2002 shield and axe, okay? So if you park the sword in there, well, he's gonna look, you know, kind of free, okay? The figure looks a bit empty, right? Because his hands aren't holding on to anything. Now, speaking of the sword, it is the exact same sword that came with the 2002 figure from Wave 9. So, yeah, I mean, that's a little bit disappointing, okay? What can I say, right? Okay, the actual sword that comes with the Snake Armor He-Man from 2004 is an entirely different design as you can see here and it's super massive, like a building, you know? It opens up and fires a missile as well. Now, I'm not saying that they had to do all that and make the new one like the size of the Empire State Building or something, but if they had at least adapted to the same overall design, we could have had maybe a new unique power sword for this figure. Okay, the other accessory that he comes with is the snake pincer. Now, this can be attached and removed from the arm gauntlet accordingly. And on the original, in fact, it would fire out as well, like spring-loaded firing action. Just like how the predator launches his pincer claw weapon at his victims. Okay, on this one, you can manually pretend that it does that, okay, like shooting out. Or you could just mainly just lock in on the enemy's neck, like so. Okay guys, it's time to do a comparison with the Wave 9 2002 style He-Man figure. Putting these two figures side by side, you can see that on the Snake Armor He-Man, his hair color is a little bit more muted. They went with a lighter shade of yellow because on the original one from Wave 9, man, that thing was just shining. Okay, it's like yellow, as bright yellow as a sunflower. 
Okay. <laughs> also, if you remove the jungle skirt of the snake armor He-Man, you can see that his belt buckle area is unpainted. All right. However, his shorts are in fact a darker brown color as compared to the Wave 9 figure. Check this out. Okay, it's actually a darker color right here. And uh, if you check them both out from the back, they've both got the butt pouches. Okay, both of them retain the butt pouch. Uh, you know, it's hidden. Of course, on the snake armor he made because of the jungle skirt. Once you remove the skirt, you can see that the butt pouch is still there. Okay, guys. The best part about this figure is the customization aspect. You can actually remove the armor entirely and just fit it onto any other figure okay that probably has the same body type as he-man and you know what i watched the pixel dan video review for the snake armor he-man a couple of weeks ago and guys you know what nothing but respect for pixel dan this is one of those og guys that's been covering motu content on youtube when nobody was talking about it he's been doing this stuff for years okay so i've always referred to his video reviews and he actually mentioned in fact in the video that the armor could not be removed Okay, so there's a moment there where you mentioned that. And I just thought to myself, look, you know what? If Pixel Dan can make a mistake in a video, man, you know, I've got nothing to worry about. Okay, because he's like one of the main measuring scales for all of my video reviews. So look, if anybody ever says to me, hey, Ken, you screwed up. I say, like, look, you know, even Pixel Dan screwed up and it's okay. Okay, it's okay. All right. <laughs> okay, check this out, guys. Okay, you can get this armor onto somebody really awesome that's got the same body type as He-Man as Clam Champ. All right, check this out. Okay, Clam Champ looks absolutely fantastic. Actually, I chose Clam Champ because he's got the pincer claw thing going on with all of his weapons. And, you know, with the snake pincer, I'm going to him. Man, he just looks freaking fantastic. Guys, you know what? Get down to some customization if you have these figures on you. If Wave 11 is already in your hands, you've got the Snake Armor He-Man, try and get some customizations done. It's really fun. Send me some photos. Hit me up on Instagram. Send me some snaps. You know, I'll probably do a video compilation of these things, okay? And put them up online. Let me know. Okay, guys. Let in your thoughts and comments on the Snake Armor He-Man figure. Like I said, this figure has grown on me, definitely. I still think the figure as it is on He-Man looks a little bit goofy. But the armor, there's a lot to be done here with the armor, right? So, a really fun figure overall. And uh, lots of possibilities here. Pick him up if you get the chance. And guys, I'll catch you guys again real soon right here with more content. Thank you and take care out there.